Yo, what is up guys? It is Josh with the Preset Bros and today I'm gonna show you how I made this super saucy deep house space right here. Alrighty guys, so that is the sound we'll be working on today. Just a nice, just your classic, I mean classic deep house bass. Um, yeah, let's jump right into it. Feel free to subscribe if you guys want to for quality content and uh, let's do it. Alrighty guys, so super simple sound. Let's go ahead and hear that soloed really quick. Now keep in mind guys, I do have a sub under this, but I mean, you honestly don't have to do that. You can just run this bass as is. I just like to have a little more control of my low end. So let's figure out how to make this Mamba Jamba. So for oscillator A, I have the basic shapes on the square wave. I have negative five on my semitones here, two voices of unison, just pulling that down all the way. Um, I have a little bit of FM from sub at 36% and the volume pulled back to 57%. Next, I have oscillator B and I have the analog BD sine wave, negative five on the semi right there. And also two voices of unison with the detune pulled all the way back. The wavetable position is cranked all the way over. And this is actually a cool wavetable because it's a sine wave, but as you crank it over, it gets a little more gritty and adds a little more texture and character to the sound. I did pull the level back to 50% and that's it for the oscillators but we actually also have the sub here. It is also on a sine wave and the volume is all the way down, so it's not even being used. Alrighty guys, so oscillator A and B are going into a filter and I went with the MG Low 24. I have my cutoff all the way down, my res all the way down and the drive up to 37%. Don't forget to check that A, B, and if you are using the sub, the sub as well. Let's move on to the envelope section. So for envelope one, I have the attack all the way down. I have the decay at 433 milliseconds, the sustain pulled back to 49, negative 49, and a little bit of release, uh, 324 milliseconds to be exact. For envelope two, I have the attack again pulled all the way down because we really want to get that pluck. Um, I have the decay at 536 milliseconds, the sustain all the way down in a little bit of release at 217 milliseconds. Now, if you guys had a good eye, you noticed I was modulating the cutoff. Look at you. I'm just modulating the cutoff knob by 73, just to kind of whip it up, pop those higher frequencies to give it some pop. Let's go ahead and move over to the LFO section. So LFO numero uno. I do have this really plucky shape right here, and this is actually kind of enhancing that pluck feature, or that pop, as if you will. And I do have it on the envelope here. I unchecked the BPM, and I have it at two hertz. And I'm gonna go ahead and bypass this really quick so you can hear what it's doing, then we'll get into what I'm modulating. So bypass without. And with. So just a little more pluckage action happening. I am modulating the CRS right here just by like 50 or something like that. And then I'm also modulating the cutoff as well by a hundred percent. Don't forget to check that mono section and let's jump over to the effects. So as for the effects guys, I just have a little bit of compression, multi-band compression to be exact. I have a gain boost of 6.2 dB. Next, I do have a high pass right here. The cutoff is at 250 Hertz and the mix is all the way up. Next, I have some hyper dimension. So for the dimension, I have 32% on the mix, I mean the size, and then 24% on the mix. I am finishing off the sound with a little bit of halt reverb. I have the size all the way down, the decay at 3.4 seconds the low cut at 60%, the high cut at 39%, the spin all the way down, the spin depth all the way up, and the mix at 14%. So the final thing I did was I went ahead and rolled off some of these highs and I dipped out a frequency right at 1150 hertz right there. And I'm just dipping it out by negative 19 dB. I'm rolling off the highs at 2300 hertz and that's just kind of shaping the sound, kind of pulling back on the brightness now. This is a bass, so we do want to leave room for some vocal chops or whatever we're doing there. And that is it, guys. 
That's the sound guys, super, super simple. We do have a free gift for y'all and it is a sample pack. We have a free sample pack of 15 sounds, presets, multi-genre, so you guys can just kinda go download that and play. It's just a little taster of what we have to offer on our website, which is a bunch of different preset packs as well. So head to the description, go check all that fun stuff out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay creative.